favorite summer fruits. I've been getting really good watermelons lately, and this one is no exception. Perfectly peachy. Oh my goodness, what a mess. Everything in my house right now is such a mess. I've been really busy with work, which is awesome, but then if work is busy, then that means home is a disaster and this pantry is crazy. I've been trying to get a bunch of like bulk items to stock up on. So I've got like whole wheat pastas and a ton of dried beans. <laughs> um, and I wanna put these into some jars or something. Having my pantry full, like after the last few years and all the like weird stuff that's gone down, I think it's been a good wake up call that we should probably have some things stocked up in the pantry and freezer and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and get these things put away nicely. Um, I don't know about you, but when my house is a mess, even if it's like behind a door, I just feel like I can't focus very well. So, so let's take care of all these beans and grains. <laughs> all right, to make this really easy vegetable soup, most of the things that I'm using were in my pantry or in my freezer. It's super easy to make this whenever you need a comfy, cozy, quick, feel good meal. I am chopping up a large sweet onion, four garlic cloves, mincing those really well. I'm chopping up two large carrots with my little audience here and chopping up two large ribs of celery. Peeling and cubing three medium potatoes and these could be sweet potatoes if you don't have regular potatoes that would work out just fine. I'm using about a quarter cup of vegetable broth here over a medium high heat, and then I'm adding in my onion, garlic, carrots, and celery. The potatoes, five to six cups of vegetable broth, depending on how soupy you like your soup. Then you're gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes, dried thyme and a bay leaf. And then you're gonna reduce this and slightly cover it and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes until the potatoes are tender but not mushy. Add in a cup of frozen peas, a cup of frozen corn. And I'm adding in a third a cup of fresh parsley. I'm cooking for about five minutes longer and then adding salt and pepper to taste. It's gonna be entirely up to you how much you wanna put in there. One of my favorite hacks for soup is to add some fresh veggies on top. So here I am putting a handful of spinach in my bowl at the time I'm ready to eat. Fresh kale also works really well. And I'm topping it with some sliced serrano pepper and more black freshly cracked pepper, just because I like it that way. I love a good spicy soup. That is so good, especially as the seasons are turning here and it's getting a little bit more brisk. Sometimes you just want a warm soup and this one's super easy. I'm going through all these things and I'm realizing like how many meal possibilities or potential possibilities there are in my pantry. Um, I think what I'm gonna show you guys is actually how to make a pantry meal, like a really easy one. Something that I talk about with my clients who don't like cooking is really keeping your pantry stocked up full. So at a moment's notice, you can always throw something together, whether worse comes to worse, or there's a hurricane, or some random thing that we haven't even known about happens in the world, or if you're just super busy, you can always make a really easy pantry meal. I think for dinner, I'm gonna do like a one skillet kind of Mexican meal just from stuff in the pantry here. And I think you guys will enjoy it, especially if you don't like cooking. A one skillet cleanup is always really, really great. And um, it'll be Mexican and it'll be pantry inspired. To make this really easy pantry inspired Mexican skillet meal, I'm dicing one small red onion, mincing two cloves of garlic, and dicing up half of a serrano pepper. This is totally optional if you're not a spicy gal, but I am. And I've got these mini bell peppers I need to use, but you can totally use just a regular size red, orange, or yellow bell pepper, and you just wanna dice that up. 
in a large skillet, add a quarter cup of vegetable broth over a medium high heat, and then add in your onion, garlic, bell pepper, and serrano pepper. Saute this for about three minutes, stirring occasionally, and then you can add in your spices. I'm using a teaspoon of each cumin, smoked paprika, garlic powder, dried oregano, and salt. Stir this up and then cook it for about two to three more minutes. Next, add in a cup and a half of cooked or canned black beans, a cup of cooked brown rice, and one cup of frozen corn. I'm adding in one cup of salsa, and this will all depend on your spice preference, if you want it mild or if you want it hot or medium. And I'm allowing this to cook for another five minutes, and then I'm just gonna turn it off. In a high-speed blender, I am adding half a cup of cashews that have been soaked and drained, a teaspoon of lemon juice, a quarter cup of tapioca flour or any flour that you choose, one and a half tablespoons of nutritional yeast, quarter teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one and a quarter cups of water. Blend this up on high until it's nice and smooth. And over a medium high heat, stir this with a cooking spatula for about two to four minutes. The key to this cheese being really smooth and not lumpy is the stirring. So make sure that it gets your full attention. Then you just add some of that cheese into the skillet with the rice and bean mixture. Most likely you're gonna have leftover cheese and you can use this for another dish in the future. Check out the full recipe in the description below for some of my favorite suggestions. And when you're ready to eat, just serve this over fresh greens and garnish it with fresh cilantro, green onion, more salsa or avocado or any other Mexican inspired garnish you enjoy. Actually that cheese makes it look really kind of creamy. Mm. That's good. This would actually be really good in a burrito. Mm, yeah. That's good, huh? It's very good. It looks a little bit messy, but it's very like fulfilling. Very cozy. Mm. I think you'll like it. Mexican is one of your staples, like it's mine. You'll like this one. Mmm, yummy. That's good. I would mm -hmm. actually have even more cheese. Yeah, totally. More cheese is always <laughs> a good thing. Okay, I'll have it. You cannot have it. It's just spicy. Can you smile? Mm -hmm. It feels so much better to have my pantry organized and I just feel like I can see what's in there. And that is always a huge deal to making sure that you use the food that you buy. It is for me anyways. Now I want to know from you, what are your favorite things to whip up from your pantry ingredients? I hope you guys enjoy both of these kind of pantry inspired recipes that I've shared today. The full recipes will be linked down in the description and I love seeing your recipe creations on Instagram. So make sure you tag me at vegan underscore Michelle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already. And if you wanna see some more what I eat in a day videos, make sure to watch this playlist right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys so soon. Bye.